All right, guys, we're in the final hour of the Random Battles Ladder Tournament. The top six players make it to the playoffs right now. And as you can see, the race is heating up. I'm not in the top six. I'm in the top 100. I'll be clearing the wild card, uh, wild card slot here. But you look over here. Number six is 2542. And there's a lot of people really, really close. And we're going to be spectating a lot of the games going on right now because all games are public. There's one hour left. And you're going to see a lot of... It's very cool to see people not only competing to hit number six, but also competing for uh, competing against the clock, fighting the timer, play after, having to play quick. And we're going to get a lot of, lot of uh, ladder salt, too, because if you've been laddering for one week and you're almost there and you start getting really unlucky, it's going to be miserable. And we will watch that happen live. Uh, hopefully we don't want too much of it, but we will see some hearts getting broken because I've i played the ladder tournaments before. It can be extremely brutal. But in any case, here we are, top six. And when someone in the top 10 queues the game right now, we'll go and watch it live and we'll be able to uh, see what's happening right now. If anyone in the top 10 starts to queue a game. Oh, speaking of. 58 minutes left. Here we go. Minun into Blaziken. So RBTLW is number nine right now. If you look at their ranking here 2489 they need a win one to maybe go 2500 win another to go 20 it's a it's a tough climb it's a tough climb right here we'll see if there's if they have what it takes here let's go switch the viewpoint okay what are we look we're looking at kind of like aurora veil into manaphy and blaziken which is kind of cool so you can get veil up for nasty or uh take this is a fion not a manaphy but yeah um, it will show if somebody's playing multiple games. So one thing you'll notice is that as we get to the, the end of the tournament, you will see people queuing up maybe three, four, five games at a time if they're really trying to make it and they're too far away. That's another thing that's going to be relatively cool. There, the opponent's rank is 2335. So they'll get about maybe 15 ELO if they win here and they're 2490. Oh, Michael's playing right now? Let me... Okay, Michael is playing here. 2475, 2558. Why is he playing? He's already number one. Oh! So, so, number one gets the number one seed, which is a first round buy. So, Michael is currently number two, and he's playing for number one right now. Here we go. Look, Intilion into Gumshoes. There's a Cerulege here. Oh, we have we have a we have a molding alert here. Oh, we do have a molding alert. Oh, but we have population bomb smeargle. Okay, chat. We have to decide which one do we want to watch. Michael playing for number one or LW going for the number six right now. I I don't know. I feel like watching a smeargle try and sweep could be cool. Do you think it can do it? Power trip, population bomb, and you can spore one, two, three, four Pokemon. Glacian. To be honest, I think Glacian kind of walls Smeargle here. Both. Okay. Okay, see, this is... Smeargle is really annoying. You have Spore, you have Population Bomb. But it's going to do... Look how little damage that is. Like, how much is Smeargle's attack? It's literally like 20, isn't it? Like, Smeargle's attack is 20. I guess, Smeargle is going to do it. I think Smeargle is actually going to do it. There's a Jirachi. You have Power Trip for Jirachi. Dark type move. It scales based on how many boosts you have. I don't think Power Trip will do enough though, but I think you're doing enough to at least do enough damage and that you can back your Fion and your final Pokemon to win. Sixty-seven. Iron Head. Okay. Now Fion is at ninety-four. I think Fion very comfortably beats these Pokemon. Yeah, Fiona is very comfortable beating these Pokemon. This game's probably over. How is how is Michael Derbest doing over here? He is an Iron Valiant versus a Leaveni. And we're talking, everyone here is elite. Like, we're talking 2300, 2400 ELO. Everyone here is good. So that makes all the games really interesting. A little bit of a greedy Sticky Web. Sticky Web on an Iron Valiant Calm Minding. And we saw the reason for the greed. The reason they were greedy is because they had a Ditto to copy everything. Oh, but Terra Steel into the Ditto? 
and they're gonna re-counter that. So now I think Iron Valiant just wins everything. Maybe Miss Drevis can live a hit, okay? But even then, the Calm Mind Boosts are too much. I think Sucker Punch on Brood Bonnet? That's her, like, yo, Shadow Sneak on Giratina. Chinchino in. Chinchino can have a tidy, tidy up to remove the Sticky Web. Terra Steel, Draco Meteor. Triple Axel. Ooh, Terra out of the Triple Axel weakness. Okay. Magirna. Okay. I think Magirna wins now. It beats Gumshoes, Bonnet, and Giratina. You go hard Gumshoes here, maybe. Uh, but I think Magirna can win the game from here. It's five on three, five on three right now. Both have committed the Terra. No, actually, Giratina went. No, I, I'm I'm completely wrong. Giratina, because it has Levitate and is a Steel type now, it just beats Magirna. Yeah, like that's not doing anything. Giratina has a physical move. Yeah, this is fine. Magirna, Magirna is not as threatening as I thought it could be, it would be. Okay, Chinchino. Is it trying to bait Draco, maybe? Okay, baits Draco. But what do you do with it, Draco? Giratina is a big threat. Cerulege. Oh, Cerulege is good with fire into Bonnet, Giratina. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure Michael just wins here. Cerulege is gonna... Well, maybe Gumshoes can Earthquake spam, but even then, I think Giratina is too low to help out. I think Giratina is too low to help out here. Yeah, this is this is over. Cerulege is gonna win here. Michael's gonna go back to number one. Yeah, okay. We see the forfeit. Michael 2573. What happened here? Lady Riders did Lady Rider did win, so she's at 2502. So Michael, number one. Number six is 2542. And people are still competing here for uh for trying to hit number number six, right? At 2542. Oh, Poke Evan is laddering. Let's find let's find Poke Evan here. Poke Evan is number seven. We'll find his game. Where is he? Oh, I found something more interesting. Poke Blade is also laddering, and Poke Blade is number four. It looks like he might be pushing for the number one slot here. He has like a three on three here. Copper Raja, Intimidate Masquerade. It's a sticky web variant. Intimidates to bring Copper Raja in. Baits out Sucker Punch. Now, Copper Raja gets knocked off. It's going to do a lot of da damage, though. And there's Pokemon we don't know. Rotom will outspeed. It can do a Willow, but it will take damage from, like, Iron Head, for example. Heracross, I think it's fine. I actually, I think it's a lot of fun. But it's kind of been power crept. Reggie Alecki. So you, the idea could be, like, to Volt multiple times. Reggie Alecki can win a game. Terra Ice? To get out of Earthquake, the defensive Terra Ice. I have never seen a defensive Terra Ice before. Defensive Terra Ice to get out of Earthquake. Now, you're backing Reggie Alecki to be able to beat the final two Pokemon. And the idea would be you do enough damage here. No, do you Volt into Rotom? And then just beat everything with your Electric type? But you can't do that maybe because you take a lot of damage so you're you're backing Rotom to beat Meowstic I don't think you do Meowstic just out damages you with Dark Pulse and everything yeah oh no Rotom is faster than Meowstic oh it's Scarf Rotom oh yeah I thought it outsped too I thought Meowstic would out it's Scarf Rotom Scarf Rotom is gonna beat Masquerain They dropped a 2520. They dropped a 2520. That's they're out of the top six right now. 2520. Yeah, they they went from number four to number eight. So they're gonna be climbing back too, because they're really close to number six, too. That's brutal, yeah. I mean, number eleven Castilia is making a push. They're 2483. Let's see how they're doing. They've been they've been the villain a couple times in a row now. Annihilate bulking up, but Girafferig will beat that. So Annihilate probably has to get out of there. Does Pokeblade have another match? 
my thing is not showing his matches for some reason. Okay, Poke. Oh, this is a big one. Sorry, Castilia. We're in. We're in for a big one here. We have Poke Blade at number eight and LW at number nine here. Oh, eight versus nine. Yeah, this is a big match here. Uh, six on five. Let's try and gather our bearings here. There's a Lunala, a Granbull, Thunderous T. Granbull play rough is good. There's no fairy resist. It's going to be picking up KOs. Nice little Oracorio on T wave there. But play rough looks strong. You have to get out of it. You go to Thunderous. Good prediction to Hurricane into the Volt Absorb Pokemon, not use an electric move. T tar back in for Thunderous. Confusion. A little lucky there. But realistically, you're not doing damage to T-Tar. So T-Tar is looking great here. Easy knockoff into Granbull. They've, they've shown a lot of their team. But the, the lead is big. So I think you can call it well worth it. Yeah, Specs is gone. Granbull is going to come back in. Another A play rough is coming in. You can't really stop it. Maybe you go Lunala and Oricorio on T-Wave again. Like another prediction play. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is fine. Stone Edge would have done like 30 to 40. I honestly think the Grand Bull has such a good matchup here that you're in a lot of trouble. I think LW, even though they have the five on four, the Grand Bull is so tough that you're gonna have issues. Hit him with the sleep powder. Acrobatics doing a nice 27. It wakes up in one turn, hits that T-Wave. That's clutch. Now it's going to heal. It's going to be able to knock out Jumpluff. And here, yeah, the Granbull is coming through. Granbull has such a good matchup in this match. Got that dog in him. Lycanroc. Countered by Chestnut. This is getting even worse now. Granbull legitimately beats all four Pokemon here. And nice little play here to switch back to Granbull, gain leftovers, and be able to attack even more. Ogre Pond, yeah, it's four on four. I think Pokeblade has this pretty comfortably. Four on three now. Ogre Pond's going to deliver. Granbull's going to deliver. Chestnut's going to deliver. Maybe you have an idea trying to win with Lunala, like trying to get Calm Mind up. But this is, this is looking... I think Granbull, Ogre Pond is too much into Cyclozar, Lycanroc, and Lunala. So Pokeblade... 25-20, he's going to move up to maybe 25, you know, 40, maybe. So he might, he might make it back up to number six here. We'll have to, we'll have to see how the ELO shakes up here. Thirty-eight minutes remaining in the tournament. Yeah, Lunala, we'll see if Lunala can do anything here. Yeah, Ivy Cudgel, critical hit. Moongeist Beam. Do you Terra Rock? No. 45, Moonlight. This is why I think you maybe want to Terra Rock just to out damage it. But you're also getting a high crit move. Yeah, you bring Lunala down. You have T-Wave. Yeah, you have T-Wave here. Hit the T-Wave. I did not get knocked out. I'm in the top 100. I'll be trying again. If I don't if I don't hit the wild card, I'll be trying again next time, next week. Psychic Fangs predict into gr Chestnut. That's banded Psychic Fangs. Maybe Lycan. Maybe I've underestimated Lycan Rock. Maybe it can it can get through here. That's a really good predict of Psychic Fangs into Chestnut here. But there's still an unknown final Pokemon. Granbull is weakened, but Lunala is also weakened. Lunala in, Granbull in, Leftovers. Now, do you play rough? You do? Can Lunala do it? It can. Okay. Granbull has been removed. Maybe Lycanroc can win. But not. Nah, Electros is too much to handle, I think. I think Electros is too much to handle.
yeah, I think Eel is going to win. May, like, what are your ideas here, right? You have maybe Terra fighting Banded Lycanroc to knock out Electros. That's maybe what you have. But you wouldn't knock out Electros, I don't think. I don't think you're strong enough to get the one hit KO. But if anything, that's your idea. Terra fighting Banded Close Combat. Then... Or... Or maybe you go Cyclozar, ship down Electros, and then use Banded Close Combat. That way you also hit Chestnut too. I think that's what they're thinking about here. Do they go Cyclozar, chip damage, or do they go Lycanroc here? I think Lycanroc can actually win the game. I think you chip it down with Cyclozar, get it down to like 70 or 80, and then Lycanroc can one it KO. I think that's what they're playing for here. But if it's Terra Poison, then everything's a moot point. If they're Coil, that could also be um, a challenge. So they're taking a, a long time to think here for good reason. You have to really plan out the end game. Yeah, they go Lycanroc first, okay? I have to. I have to think it's Banded Close Combat coming in. Yeah, Banded Close Combat, eighty nine. Giga Drain, Drain Punch, yeah. Cyclozar, do you think Cyclozar can beat Chestnut and Electros here? It's Terra fighting Electros. The Chestnut probably has Terra Steel for Draco. So you're Terra Stealing Chestnut probably here. I think Pokeblade can win. I think he should win with Chestnut probably. Drop a Draco into Eel. And have Chestnut Terra Steel to Drain Punch and win. There's some, some decisions to be made. Knockoff? Didn't even KO. Oh no. Pokeblade, he wins 25 38. 25 38. Twenty-five, thirty-eight. He sneaks into number seven. Not num. He he still has to win one more game. Uh, so let's see the everyone in this region, like seven to twenty. I guess it's probably still queuing right now to try and hit number hit the top six here. Okay, this game is number eleven versus like number twenty-ish. Okay, we just saw 2481 drop to 2451 here. Uh, number 6 is still 2543. So we're probably going to see Ilex battle. We'll try and see if we can track them somehow. This is a 24... Oh, Castelia is making a run at it. They're number 9. So 30 minutes left, Castelia is making a run at it. They're number 9 here. Colossal- Ooh, they get critical hit. Okay. Greninja. Gunk shot. This is going to get hit, hit by Terra Ground. Yep. So now Castelia is probably losing here. It was kind of like an agreed play. Like, Illumise was on Florges after a Calm Mind. So obviously it's going to Encore. So obviously you predict them predicting your Encore, except they predicted that you would predict your Encore and they Moonblasted the Illumise using Bug Buzz on a Florges. Flame Body Burn, that's tough. Oh, there's a better game going on. This is right now between 2542 and 2523. Glare, Sandaconda, there's a Maridon. There's a Basque Legion, a Dawn Fan, and a Float Soul. Nice glare on Basque Legion here. Earthquake, what's going to happen? Basque Legion, paralyzed. That's tough. Jet for 39, good play because you know you're going to faint. Might as well get damage out of it. So now Float Soul will come back. You probably pick up a KO. I can't imagine keeping up Sandaconda alive. Now you do have your Dawn Fan to kind of deal with Maridon. You can at least play around it because you have a ground type Pokemon. Meowstic in. You can't go Maridon here. You're going to force another Pokemon to be revealed here. 
Florges? Oh, Florges could be good. It's tricky. You have ideas like Calm Mind and Moonblast, for example. Floatzel would band could cause issues, but I like Flor I like Floor just as a Pokemon. What are you doing? Calm Mind? You Calm Mind? Yep. Psy Shock could be devastating if you have it. Meow Stick into Floor just what's gonna happen here? I mean, if you have Psy Shock, you definitely use it now. But do you have it? It's not it's not guaranteed. Terra Steel, nasty plot, okay. Moonblast doing 61. Now you committed your oh you gave it competitive. The moonblast drop gave it competitive, but you're protected against Psy Shock because you're a steel type now. So you're gonna take a lot of damage here, but I don't think you're gonna faint. So that's a good Terra Steel to preemptively stop. Oh, flinch. Dark Pulse flinch. No flinch. Okay. So that didn't have Psy Shock by the looks of it. Floatzel in Banded Wave Crash. So it's kind of a trade-off. You committed your Terra as Florges, and you're going to be revenge killed here. But I guess you did knock out Meowstic. Wave Crash coming in. So four on four, but you gave up their Terra, which is big. So I think Chemcoop has just a sl slight advantage here. Just a slight advantage. Wave Crash, you pick up Florges here. Okay. Miraidon back in. At least you can you can ask some questions here because you have Dawn Fan. So you, you're probably either Dracoing or Electro Drifting, depending on what you predict here. I think you probably always Draco. At least I think I would Draco here. That way you at least guarantee a good outcome that you're gonna knock out, you know, a, something. Yeah, I go for Draco here. 25 minutes left. They go to Miss Magius, okay. They Electro Drift. That's a good play. Draco is losing. Electro Drift is actually winning here. Electro Drift again. Critical hit might have mattered. 52, then 54. It depends on the roll there. That might have mattered. Floatzel is going to come back. It's going to pick up a wave crash. Three on three, but Maridon's going to faint here. I don't know. I'm going to give the, the advantage to Chemcoop here, I think. I think with the Terra, a 3-2 advantage is a lot. Regice, okay. Regice will beat Donphan. It'll kind of beat Floatzel too. It, Floatzel doesn't do enough damage to it. The Floatzel into Regice here. What's it going to be? Do you... So you have a, you're one you have two options here. You wave crash for damage or you go to your final Pokemon. But your final Pokemon would have to switch into like a Thunderbolt or something, right? 138. Donphan is slower than Regice, so that's not even an option here. You maybe if you're really cheeky, you go Donphan on Thunderbolt here and then you Terra out of Ice Beam. But what do you do if you tear into a different type? Yeah, just wave crash. Critical hits big. It could be big. We don't know. Mabostif. Okay, critical hit didn't matter that much because Mabostif would have knocked it out anyway. Now you're backing. Can the final Pokemon beat Mabostif and Donphan? Entei. Can Entei do it? Can Entei do it? Get your bets in, chat. Entei into Mabostif Donphan. This could be tough. Terra Dark. Crunch. 48 defense drop. It's over. Sacred Fire. Burn. No. No burn. Number seven versus number eight. No burn. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if there was no defense drop and you burnt, you won. But that's how it goes. Chemcoop 2544. We have a new we have a new number six now. Chemcoop number four. L drops down to 2543. Now, I believe L is European and they went to sleep, so they might be out of it. 
Uh, it's like, what, 5 a.m. in Europe right now? Maybe. But we have a new number six. We'll, we'll keep monitoring the situation, see if that, see if any other games are being played. I imagine Ilex is going to keep playing. Castelia can still make a run for it. Oh, Castelia is in fact playing right now. They're 2506. They're playing a 2374. So relatively low ELO match here. Even if they win, they're going to get maybe 15 ELO. 21 minutes left. You're kind of cutting it close here, playing this low rated game. You have to win quickly. At this point, you have to win quickly. Uh, but I think we're going to detour to Ilex's game here. Ilex is playing. He They are 2521 here. The 2521 here. Incineroar into Hippowdon. This is going to be a very... Okay, Lurantis, that's a good matchup into Hippowdon. They are number 8 right now. They hit. Um, they need to hit number 6, so 2521 is what they need. Their opponent is 2430, so they could make a push, to be honest. It's kind of unlikely with only 20 minutes left, but they can do it. Yeah, Lurantis into Okie Dogie. At least you got a good knockoff into Okie Dogie. That's going to be long-term damage. It does have Drain Punch to heal, but you're going to be able to get rid of leftovers, maybe wear it down over time. Eternatus is pretty much a counter to Okie Dogie. Okay. Also, I lied about L being... Uh, not being asleep. I think it. I think they are European. It's 5 a.m. But they're here. They're 2543. They are number 7 right now. So they're also queuing a game. We'll stick to the Ilex game for now. T-spikes go up. Not incredibly high value because of Okie Dogie, but you do ask some questions here. Dynamax Cannon for 40. Dodge Stone Edge. Nice little predict there because you're never going to Earthquake into Lurantis, right? I guess that's the idea. So you predict you predict non-earthquake and you get bailed out. Not bailed, but you dodge stone edge too. Uh this is interesting though. I think honestly, I don't think Ilex has a good matchup from what I can tell. I think Golem's gonna do some big damage here. But I think it's managed well enough. Dynamax Cannon doing 40. Another Stone Edge predict, another no earthquake prediction. So it's working out. This could be Custat Berry. So Custat Berry Explosion, maybe. Honestly, if you feel that you're weak to Golem, this, this is a fine trade. But you do have to be careful about getting weaker to Okie Dogie. It was not Custat Berry, okay. Good value of Eternatus. It could have fainted to Earthquake any of these two turns, but it stayed in and got value out of it. Now... I think you probably go... Here's the tricky thing. You want to go Hippowdon to beat Eternatus, right? But then you get poisoned. You you go Spectre. Now, this is a play. You're you're basically backing that I'm my Spectre is going to do a lot of damage here. I'm okay with it getting poisoned. You probably maybe have Terra fighting for Incineroar, I would have to think. That's your kind of idea here. But it, it's a very calculated decision to decide I'm not going to go Okie Dogie first and get the T-Spike up. Because if you go Okie Dogie first, then Eternatus is going to be able to use Recover. Spectre, Shadow Ball into Dunsparce. Even if you have Terra Fighting, it is not worth it because Dunsparce with Eevee Light is way too tanky. A good Willow though. Willow into Dunsparce is very high value. Maybe you go Okie Dogie now to get rid of T-Spike. I think that's what I would do. I would go Okie Dogie, get rid of T-Spike, and then go back to my game with, you know, Hippowdon and other Pokemon. Nasty Plot. Okay. Are they going for the Terra Fighting win? That's the only reason I think you Nasty Plot here, is if you're going for Terra Fighting. Otherwise, I feel like you're taking way too much damage. Oh, you're Dark Pulse. That's fine, too. But you have issues with Incineroar. You get the Flinch, though. That's a tough flinch. Okay, Eternatus in. I think you go Incineroar. Just go Incineroar. Eh, problem with Incineroar is that you open up Okie Dogie to come right back in and get rid of the T-Spike. This is kind of tough. I think Ilex is in a bit of a tough spot here. How's it going in this match real quick? 
Uh, just a normal, kind of a solid game, to be honest. Uh, our eyes are on RBLTL to see if they can uh, get qualify from 5 a.m. in Europe. Yeah, Spectrier. Yeah, I think it, you have to be careful here. Incineroar does beat Spectrier, but it invites Okie Dogie. And then when you invite Okie Dogie, how do you deal with Drain Punch? Because you've already lost Eternatus. Do you have another Pokemon that can deal with Drain Punch? I don't know if you do. We have 16 minutes left, by the way. 16 minutes left. Yeah, very interesting decision, and, you know, there's only 15 minutes left, but if you win this game, you're maybe qualified already, so you can afford to take your time here, even though there is a, you know, a sense of urgency, right, because there's only 15 minutes left, you can still, you can still ma make sure you don't lose right now, losing here would be catastrophic, so you do have to play it out here. What's going on in the other game? Okay. Five on five. Oh, uh, L is on this side. L five on five. You do have Tropius, which is like extremely broken in random battles. Yeah, we do have Incineroar. Incineroar in. Incineroar in. Yeah, I mean, okie dokie. Okie dokie in Swords Dance predicting the switch. Now, Okie dokie has Drain Punch. Are you going to Terra out of Drain Punch? I don't like that play. But maybe you don't even need to Terra. Maybe you just Trailblaze here. Trailblaze on Drain Punch. Flare Blitz next. But if you get poisoned, you're in trouble. Bulk up Okie dokie. Trailblaze in. So Okie dokie is planning to Drain Punch. Do you Terra Grass here? I don't know if you do. You do? Terra Grass. Swords Dance again. He's going for it all. Drain Punch. He has to Flare Blitz now, I think. He, he He's trying to break through Okie Dogie at any cost right now. I don't know. I think Ilex, who's number 7 right now, could be in a lot of trouble. They go hit Pout on. Okay. Flare Blitz, Recoil, Sand, okay, Scrafty with Intimidate, you still take a lot of damage from Flare Blitz here. Uh, this doesn't have Fake Out, yeah, it's just Close Combat from Scrafty. I don't know. It's tricky. You've committed your Terra. You're going to maybe get one more knockout. You knock out Scrafty here. You'll go into a three on a four on three, but one of your four is a basically a three on three without Terra. But that Spectre is kind of dead too, so kind of like a three on two almost. Yeah, you're going into a three on two but without Terra. And you've already kind of revealed your weak to Okie Dogie. So can your do you have Pokemon that can beat Okie Dogie? You have Vespa Queen, which does match up well into Okie Dogie. You do have Vespa Queen. That's a good good Pokemon to have here. Now it comes down to the final Pokemon. Vespa Queen can beat Okie Dogie and Low Health Spectre. Really, final Pokemon can that beat Vespa Queen? Lugia, Lugia can beat Vespa Queen as long as it doesn't have Toxic, or maybe you Terra Steel on Toxic as well. Terra Steel Lugia can also win the game here. Aeroblast, 37. U-turn. So no Toxic on Vespa Queen, maybe. Dunsparce in. It's going to go for... It's going to faint. Okay. Lugia might be able to win. Luxray. Now, Luxray could lose to Terra Ground Lugia.
Maybe. How do you play the Luxray here? The main thing is that the Luxray did not intimidate, so it's Guts and Flame Orb. Guts and Flame Orb. Facade will not Oko yet. You recover. Trailblaze, right? Little more. So Facade, Facade. Oh, wait, do you? You're going to get hit by Facade now. Do you Terra Steel on Terra Ground on Facade? Yeah. Earth Power. I think. I think Luxray is going to be able to win. I think Luxray is going to be able to win. The only trick. Yeah. Spectrier on Facade. You're stalling out a little. It's not enough though. You're not stalling out enough burn. Okay. Okie dokie time. Can Okie dokie do it? Maybe it can. If it lives in attack, drain punches, and then Vespa Queen loses to Lugia, maybe Lugia can do it. Maybe Lugia can still win. Do you go Vespa Queen on Okie dokie that way? Oh, can, o can Lugia do it? Can Lugia do it? We have 10 minutes left, by the way. Can Lugia do it? I'm very... Okay. Dodges Gunk Shot. Now, it's all on Lugia. Can Lugia do it? It has to Roost. It has to Calm Mind. But if Vespa Queen does not have Toxic, it's over. U-Turn. Lurantis, it's over. Lugia is going to win. Lugia is going to win. Number 7 is going to drop a whole lot of ELO now. They have 9 minutes to come back. I think that might be enough. You can still dodge Aeroblast. No! Aeroblast will not knock out Lurantis, and Lurantis can Leaf Storm. No, no. Lurantis is actually going to win here because of the Terra Ground. In hindsight, maybe you shouldn't have Terra Grounded because Luxray is always going to facade, right? I think Lurantis can do it. I think Lurantis can do it. Calm Mind? Oh, it lives! It lives on 5 HP, 5%. Oh, but 55, that's... Okay, Lurantis did it. Okay. Ilex moves up to 25, 10. Wait, they're playing multiple games at once. What happened here? L is still playing this one game here. What's going on? Ilex must have... Uh, played another game in the meantime. Ilex has three games going on right now. We have Ilex into MDB. So there's 10 minutes left, and right now Ilex is playing three games at once to try and use 10 minutes to win three games in at the same time and try and hit the top right now. He's number eight here. Uh, he's just playing a lot of games at once right now. How is RBLTL going here? Okay. Liquidation. Can Pink Urchin do it? Pink Urchin might be able to beat the end game here. And we're looking at RBLTL, who's number 7 right now. Ilex is playing MDB. Okay, he gets he gets a KO. He's up 6 to 5. Palafin in. Flapple in. Gramble in. There's too many games going on at once. Okay, Pink Urchin. Recover. Okay. Now this game is tricky. Because if you vol if you use an electric move into Minun, it can catch you for Volt Absorb. You have to be careful. What what player are you gonna make here? You go to Minun on the electric move. Okay. But I think Pink Urchin should still win though, right? Liquidation does a lot of damage. I think Pink Urchin still wins here. I think Pink Urchin still wins here. Timer running low. We have seven minutes left. You have to start... Well, I mean, his, it's his opponent right now, but you have to start... Honestly, you can take your time here. Seven minutes is enough time to think your options through and win. Like, 
RBLTL does not have a lot going on. 41. Okay. Recover. Liquidation. Are you in range of for alligator now? Are you in range of for alligator? You are. You are in range of for alligator. That was a 25% chance to kill. 25% chance to kill. They dropped from 25-43 to 25-14. Take a look at RLBTL there. They're 25-14, which is still number 7. But they are they have 5 minutes left to keep going. Like, Ilex right now is playing multiple games right now. He's playing... He's in 5 games right now. He's playing 5 games at once. 6 minutes left. He's playing 5 games at once right now. Where is he right now? He's number 8. He's playing 5 games at once. He has 5 minutes, essentially... To try and make it to 2544. Yeah, he's he's just playing every game you can think of right now. The idea is to queue up into many games and uh put focus your attention on the ones that are you can win quickly with like a really quick sweep, for example. Okay. Yeah, he's 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 grinding right now. This is a big one too. RBLTL into okay. This is a good game because they ha both have the incentive to play really fast. So L into I like they both have an incentive to click 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 because there's only five minutes left. Like meanwhile here, MDB doesn't really have an incentive to play quickly because he's already number one. He doesn't really gain anything by playing quickly. He's gonna take a long time per move if he wants to. This might be the more interesting game. Both players at 25-10-ish. Yeah, like, uh, he's just queuing up so many games right now. Is, is Michael timer stalling? Yeah, here's the thing. MDB has no incentive to play quickly. He can use the timer because there's only four minutes left. I think Ilex has to focus on this game over here because both players have to play quickly. Well, they should be playing quickly. I would be making my moves instantly right now. Yeah, Whimsicott into Golurk. Okay. Four minutes left. Three minutes and 54 seconds. Dialga into Golurk. Yo, you don't get the knockout. That's tough. Okay. Draco, now you knock out Golurk. Annihilate. Is MDB... Yeah, this game's not going to finish in time. And he's losing it anyway, too. But this is this is a game we have to watch out for. Now, here's what I think I, I think Ilex should do, maybe. I think he should focus all his effort trying to win this game. Timer stall this game. If he doesn't think he can win. Maybe he can win. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up. But if he... Basically, you have to be really careful about the time. Three minutes left now. Taunt Annihilate. Okay. Overdrive. Rage Fist. Shift Gear. No, Overdrive again. Okay. Ride On. Oh, that's a counter. Okay. Okay, Conkelder into Ride On. Two minutes left. You have to You have to play quick games now. Is Ilex winning over here? Ilex might be able to win here. You you can dodge Sucker Punch, right? Because of hus the hustle ability. If you do that, Vivil if you Vivillon can try and go after Flapple here. But there's not enough time. There's there's two minutes left. There's not enough time to win this game. I think you have to go for Sucker Dodge. Like, like you can try and stall at Sucker Punch, but you're just going to run out of time. There's two minutes left. You have to go for it now. What's going on here? Okay, this game's going to finish. Okay, there's two minutes left, one minute left. This is a game that'll end quickly. Okay, come on. There, I, Yeah, he's right here. Terra Rock into Facade? Doesn't KO, but Burn will KO. Ilex wins. He's at 25-30. We have one minute left. One minute left. Ilex is 25-30. If he beats MDB, he wins. But 
MDB can keep Sucker Punching and stalling out time. I think you have to go for a Sucker Punch dodge. Yeah, one minute, you have to you have to get it moving. One minute, one minute, one minute. This is you have to win this game. He's winning it too. But you have to the sucker punch is there. You can't stall it out. You have to go for a sucker punch. 35 there's 30 seconds left. I think you have to go for dodge here. Like you technically win the game, but you don't win the game in one minute by going for quiver dance now. He's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. Four seconds left, three seconds, two, one. Final leaderboard, it's done. The tournament is over. He didn't qualify, I don't think. He didn't make it. We have our top eight standings now. The, the clock has finished. We have our top six here is MDB, Fantasy, Ralkan, Ralkan, Pokeven, Pokeblade, and Chemcoop. And we'll have one more random person. He couldn't get it in time. He just couldn't get it. Yeah, no, and for those of you, this is all really fast paced. So basically the, the flapple is choice band sucker punch. It's locked into sucker punch. So you can keep quiver dancing and you will beat it because sucker punch will never work. It'll run out of PP. But the problem though, is that each sucker punch takes time, right? So even if you win the game, if you don't win it in time, it doesn't matter, right? So I think at some point he had to go for the 20% chance instead of the 0% chance. That's what I is my opinion on it. But he's going to win the game right now. Uh, but it's not not quick enough. Yeah, if though, if you don't qualify for this cycle, you can qualify for the next one. All right, so we picked Aqua Guy. Uh, funnily enough, 69 is his number. So we can have a big laugh out of that. Yeah. Okay. So we have... We have our top six and seven. 